Hello and welcome to this video on interview questions on embedded system. So in this video, I'm going to cover 11 important questions on embedded systems. So the first question is, what is a microcontroller? So microcontroller is a semiconductor and a programmable device. Question number two, what is the difference between microprocessor and microcontroller? Again, the microprocessor is an integrated chip and a programmable device similar to the microcontroller which can perform a function such as arithmetic and logical operations. Whereas a microcontroller, you can compare microprocessor as a brain and microcontroller as a human body. So microcontroller can only process the data. Okay, it cannot take actions. Whereas microcontroller can process the data and can also take action because it has got additional peripherals such as input outputs, timers, counters and so on. So the next question, uh, an example of hard real-time embedded system. So the best hard real-time embedded system is the automotive airbag systems. So which waits for just one single pulse to deploy and this has to be very very accurate. So that's the reason it is a hard real-time embedded system example. So what are the building blocks of an embedded system? So the hardware part is a microcontroller or a processing unit, sensors to sense the environmental conditions. So there are uh, many many sensors uh, which are used in embedded system like pressure sensor, temperature sensor, flow sensors and so on. There are many many sensors in different embedded applications. So actuators to take action, for example, temperature sensor can sense the temperature and based on that microprocessor can take action with the help of actuators. So it could be heater or it could be fan and so on. Then it will also have timers and counters, drivers for actuators, signal conditionings for sensors. So these are a set of uh, hardwares for embedded systems. So what is the watchdog timer? Watchdog timer is basically a, a counter. For example, a watchdog timer monitors the microcontroller depending upon the count values. It, what is a watchdog timer? Watchdog timer is a piece of hardware to monitor the microcontroller actions. For example, suppose our microcontroller is trying to execute this instruction move a comma 30h okay and approximately it takes one microsecond to execute this instruction and suppose this microcontroller stuck executing this instruction then watchdog timer will reset the microcontroller okay how this happens as soon as the microcontroller starts executing this instruction on the other side watchdog timer will start counting up okay before it reaches the thre threshold the microcontroller should complete this action executing this instruction and then it should reset the watchdog otherwise otherwise if the counter overflows the watchdog will reset the microcontroller so that's the reason sometime in, a, in uh, your mobile phone uh, gets reset automatically it's because once the mic your mobile phone hangs up the watchdog will reset your mo mo your mobile phone Okay, so that's the one uh, practical use of watchdog timer. And what are timers and counters? Timers used for generating the time delays. Now suppose you want to generate some time delays. Uh, so you are printing some text on the LCD or you are uh, trying to light up some LEDs. So in between turning on and off, you need some delay. So that delay can be generated with help of timers. So counters are used to count the external events. Now you want to count uh, the pulses which are arriving at the uh, the microcontroller. For example, I want to count the RPM of the engine. So in that case, I can go for the counters. So which counts the external events. So what are interrupts? Interrupts are like uh, they suspend the main program and go to a sub program, executes that program and come back 
to the main program. So normally they suspend the main program and execute the part of sub program and come back to the main program that are interrupts. So there are uh, different types of interrupts uh, are used in different uh, microcontrollers. So for each of these interrupts, uh, we have ISRs, interrupt subroutines, where we are going to write what action needs to be taken. Then polling. So there are two ways. Either you can go for polling or you can go for interrupts. Suppose you are uh, you want to generate some interrupt as soon as some event uh, happens. Okay. So it could be an external event or it could be the internal event. So there are different types of time uh, interrupts. So there are software interrupts and hardware interrupts. Hardware interrupts will actually uh, the, uh, the interrupts are generated. Uh, when the external events happen. Software events uh, are generated when, uh, for example, timer overflows. In that time, the uh, interrupts uh, occur. The, those are software interrupts. Polling is, now you want keep on checking whether the input has arrived or not, whether the input has arrived or not in, on certain particular pins. Okay, so that is what is polling. So what are the applications of embedded system? So there are many, many applications of embedded system. Uh, they are used in automotive applications. They are used in medical applications. Uh, so some of the example of uh, embedded systems are your mobile phone, washing machine, refrigerator. So there are all the applications of embedded system. So these embedded systems are used across different domains of uh, the uh, embedded industry. Okay. Uh, medical industry, automotive industry, aerospace industry, there are so many applications of embedded systems. So what are the different types of interrupts are there in AT51? So there are about five different types of interrupts. Okay, Timer 0 interrupt, that is TF0. So whenever timer 0 overflows, this interrupt flag goes up. Then we have timer 1 interrupt, the external hardware interrupt, that is the INT0 external hardware interrupt 1 that is INT1 then we have serial connection interrupt so whenever there is a any serial message is received then uh, or the, the, the serial data is sent that time the interrupts occur so these are different types of interrupts in AT51 thank you so much for watching uh, this video so in the next video I am going to come out with another set of uh, questions thanks for watching if you like these questions, please subscribe and like. Thank you so much.